Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Prepping by Faith and today I wanted to show you guys a combination grocery haul that I did from Walmart and Sam's Club. That is where I normally get most of my things. So I'm going to get into this in just a second. But I want to challenge you guys to start thinking today. This is just something that I started thinking about. What would you get if it was your last trip to the grocery store? If you could only go one last time, you knew that it was your last time, what are the things that you feel like you are missing that you need to fill in? And I think that would be a good question for all of us to start considering as we start seeing these shortages and things again in the grocery store. So let's start thinking about that. So what I want to show you guys here is um, I got some more bags of sugar. These are 10 pound bags. I got three of them. They were $5.28 a bag. Um, so yeah, they're each 10 pounds. And that was actually going to be a lot cheaper because the 25 pound of the other brand of sugar that they had was over $17. So that's why I purchased those that way. They also, this is the only flour that they have right now. So I got two more great big bags of um, flour here. These are 12 pounds each, $5.12 a bag. So I am still stocking up on flour. I'm actually going to be grabbing a couple more Gamma Vaults because I want to get some more sugar and flour put up. And as I'm running out of space, I am actually filling in a corner of my bedroom where I am putting some of these Gamma Vaults. So that is something that you guys can do. I have been picking up a thing of yeast every time as well. So this is $5 for this yeast. There, It's equal to 16 envelopes, so it's 4 ounces. I picked up a bottle of this Bertoli olive oil because they actually had it on sale at my Sam's Club. It's $2 off right now, so I got it for $11.48 instead of the $13.48 that it has been. So I figured I better go ahead and pick it up while it is still on sale. I did get some more um, of these tuna creation pouches. These I got at Walmart for $1.37 each. We got the hickory smoked. And then the other flavor that I picked up, I got four of these. And then I picked up some of these urban garlic. So there's four of these as well. I feel like having different flavors of tuna is always a good thing to have in our preps. And they are going to last quite a long time. The other thing I did is picked up some more of these diced tomatoes. The Delmani um, basil, garlic, and oregano is my favorite one. I like to use these in a lot of different recipes that I make. And this is also a really awesome quick lunch if you guys just want to do some diced tomatoes and pasta. Maybe put a little garlic salt on there, some Parmesan. It makes an excellent quick lunch. These have gone up. They were 88 cents forever at my Walmart. They are now 96 cents a can. So I got some of those. I did pick up some different um, soups because I have a lot of the traditional, like your uh, chicken noodle, your tomato soup, your vegetable beef, but I wanted to get some other ones filled in, different flavors. So I got this loaded potato by Progresso. They were $1.98 a can. I got two of these. And then I got some of this chicken cheese enchilada flavor Progresso soup. These are $1.98 a can as well. And then I picked up a couple of these Campbell's Chunky Soups, savory chicken with white and wild rice, also a $1.98 a can. I can't believe the prices on soup, guys. They just keep going up. I did go ahead and pick up another package, a triple pack of these Hebrew National hot dogs to throw in my freezer. These are now $7.98. I believe they were $7.23 the last time I purchased them at Sam's, so I got those. Um, I realized the other day that I didn't have a lot of enchilada sauce put up. I went to make some enchiladas because I don't make them that often, and I realized I only had a couple cans of enchilada sauce. So I got some more of these. I got the red, two of those for $1.98, two of the green for $2.86, and then I picked up another thing of the diced green chilies for $1.12 at Walmart. I picked up some cans of mixed vegetables, not because we really enjoy eating mixed vegetables, but because I was thinking of casseroles and chicken pot pie soup and that sort of thing, I figured it would be a good idea to have some of these put up. So these are $1.32 a can. I picked up six of these. I also found some of this Velveeta cheese sauce in the pouches. So there are three pouches in here. This was $3.28. I don't want to stock up on a ton of that because although it is a shelf-stable cheese, it says that the date is only good through November, so I don't want tons of that laying around. We also took a stroll through the medicinal area. 
the over-the-counter stuff and I picked up another bag. This was the last one they had of these throat soothers. This is the cool strawberry flavor. It's the one that my littlest one enjoys. Um, so I picked up another. This last one of these was $1.98. And then I also got some of these instant cold compresses. I already have some of these, but I figured I couldn't go wrong getting a couple more of these. And this was $2.98. We went ahead and got another thing of WD-40. This stuff, I can't believe, I mean, $11.98 for WD-40. I feel like WD-40 was so much cheaper not too long ago. What do you guys remember the price of your WD-40 being? I just don't remember it ever being anywhere near $11.98. Um, we also picked up another thing of Drano. This was $7.97. I feel like you guys should have some sort of a liquid plumber like this, something to help remove um, clogged drains. If you guys don't have this, this is a great item to have in your preps. I did pick up another teriyaki sauce. This was $2.82. I like to use this for, you know, a marinade for a steak and that sort of thing whenever we do have it. I also picked up some bags of this um, jalapeno cheddar flavored Lay's potato chips. And if you guys haven't tried these, these are really, really good. They're just really hard to find lately. So whenever we do see them, we go ahead and pick up what they do have. These are $3 a bag. And if you guys remember me talking recently about the price of bagels, we were purchasing them at Sam's Club because they were cheaper. They were about $3, I think, and 48 cents or so. But they have recently raised that price by 40 cents. So now they are more than the Thomas bagels. These were $3.68 at Walmart. So we're getting them from Walmart. Again, we had switched, but now we're switching back. The other thing I wanted to show you before I forget is the coffee so they had the Folgers on sale also two dollars off so I picked up another um, container of coffee eight dollars and ninety eight cents for this larger size coffee 51 ounce so I grabbed that the other thing I had to have some apple turnovers I do like my sweets that is one thing that I do have an issue with is sugar but I really wanted some of these and I felt like hey you deserve it you went grocery shopping why not right the other thing I picked up is a container of sour cream, $2.18 for this little, I guess this is a 16 ounce size sour cream. Have you guys tried this Southern Blackberry Cobbler? Have you guys seen this one, the Bluebell ice cream? That is so delicious. My husband picked it up, I think it was last week or the week before, and it is so good. I think it's one of their better flavors. I don't know if it's something that's brand new. I've never seen it before. That is still a half gallon at $7.44. If you guys see this one, go ahead and give it a try. It is really delicious. It has the blackberry through it, but it also has little chunks of cobbler and like a cinnamon flavor is so good. So we got that. Um, got a bag of oranges here. I believe these are now over $8. I think they were $8.63 for this thing of oranges from Sam's Club. I picked up some more cheese. I do use quite a bit of cheese. $6.87 from Sam's for this two pack of cheese, the Colby and Monterey Jack. I also picked up some frozen um, beer battered cod fillets. These are kind of pricey, but they are fish, so $13.78. I just thought it would make a really nice quick lunch. Um, I also got some more milk. I always pick up a container of milk each week for my kids. So this one is $5.47. This one is $3.98 for the um, lactate. And then a little bit more hamburger here. This is still selling for $4.98 a pound. Thankfully, it has not gone up in price, so I did pick up that triple pack of hamburger from Sam's Club. We also got a Caesar salad kit for $3.88. I picked up some asparagus, $4.63 for asparagus. Big container of strawberries. We do love our strawberries in this house, $3.98. And they look pretty good, so hopefully these are, are good. I hate when they taste like cardboard. They look beautiful, and then they don't taste very well. So I'm hoping these are good. The ones I got from Costco were really, really good, so we'll see how these fare. And then I picked up some more pepperonis. I've been trying to make some French bread pizza and stuff throughout the week sometimes. So I picked these up, $3.46 each. 
And the other thing that I got, guys, I was in um, Walmart and I just thought, you know what, I need a spare fan just because you never know if the one you've had forever is going to break down. I do have one spare fan put up, but I figured I should go ahead and get another one, especially with the talk of these rolling blackouts. So we did pick this up. This was, I think, $38.86 for this fan, which I remember back in the day... It wasn't that many years ago when you can get it for, you know, just under $30. But I did look on Amazon and they want over $50 for this same fan. So it is cheaper at Walmart. We did pick up a spare fan. And then the other thing that I got was two cases of water. I always get two cases of water when we go to the store. It is just something that I automatically do. Try to replace whatever we drink. And water is very, very important to continue prepping. $5.18 a case and two cases there. So this is my haul, guys. I hope that you guys have enjoyed this and maybe it gave you some ideas for other items that you want to consider adding to your preps. So if you guys like this video, please go ahead and give me a like, share, and subscribe. And remember to pray, prep, and put God first. God bless.